Welcome to the Magnificent Scoundrel Simple Investing Channel. I'm Jan, and today I want to discuss risk on, risk off market sentiment and how I determine when I want to take on risk in stocks versus bonds. Now, risk on refers to market sentiment where investors are willing to take on more risk to earn higher returns. Typically, that's in stocks. I use the SPY ETF as proxy for the U.S. stock market. And the SPY corresponds to the price and the yield performance of the S&P 500. That blue line is the 200 SMA, or simple moving average. The 200 SMA is the average closing price of a market over the past 200 days. And it's often used by traders and investors to identify long-term trends in the market. And when SPYs close is above the 200 SMA, the U.S. start stock market is considered in an uptrend and this is what that looks like on the chart in front of you now risk off refers to market sentiment where investors and traders are willing to take on less risk and move into bonds or stay in cash now when spy uh, spies price closes below the 200 sma the u.s stock market is considered in a drown ten a downtrend and this is what it looks like on the chart in front of you now let's look at some go no go situations on how i would enter the stock market or not uh, based on my analysis for me it is not as simple as a close over or under the sma i follow price momentum as well so i look at momentum for the last three months leading into the monthly close for a next month buy. Now this chart dates back to the last day of May in 2020. We don't have positive momentum in SPY just yet. Okay, so this is a no-go for me. I would still be in TLT this month. Okay, but let's look at the SPY chart anyway. So the SPY chart, we have a close above the 200 SMA and this could be a bullish turn for the US stock market based on basic risk on and risk off rules but i remain in risk off mode okay however i am now alert and once i get three months of positive momentum in the spy and a close above the 200 sma i'm going to liquidate tlt and buy spy or SL splv or noble all right so let's see what happens next month so this is the june month three month price performance chart and I have my momentum trigger. This is a go, right? We've got a, a gain in the SPY. And what we could do from here is go and look at the 200 SMA chart for June month end. And there it is, a SPY close above the 200 SMA. I have my confirmation. Three month relative strength is positive and a monthly close above the 200 SMA. It is risk on. I am selling TLT and buying SPY the next day or sometime that week, okay? So uh, thanks for watching. Support the channel by watching my other videos end to end, giving me a like, a comment, a subscribe, or check out my recommended book list. You decide. Cash flow comes to you.